in this video i will be showing you how to add an animated text effect to your work so now you can see from what we am having here this is just a plain thing. you can actually use this for an EO or for any section in your part in your website so now you my main key we are what i'm going to I, I intend to show you in this particular video is how to, you can see how i have this my picture laid down lay sent at the center of this particular thing and have my text going around it so i'm going to be showing you how to apply this effect this is really something very very easy to actually achieve and in case you're actually doubting this is done using elementor so now i'm going to be showing you how to do this in case you're actually doubting me you can see from here i'm having if you can see check here you can see that from this address i'm having you can see that this is an elemental job so i can in case you're still doubting now you can see you can if you are familiar with elementor you can see this is an um, elemental interface so now without further ado let's go straight into this tutorial where i'm going to be showing you how to add this effect okay as you can see i went ahead to create this particular section you can see this is if you've been following my other tutorials you should be able to come out to something like this nature this just is a header a heading part that's my this is my a heading so actually we just use it to display my name then we have here have this a normal text body then we have a button here so this is just what we are having here so now what we are going we are going to be showing you here is how to add so i will show you how to add that effect to your work so now to do that we are just going to quickly bring in our text i'm going to bring come here and search for text part so once i search for text part this is the one i'm actually going to be making use of so if you can see clearly this is the one i'm actually making use of so i'm going to drag it into my job at the top here so i'm going to once i bring it here now and what the next thing i'm going to do is to come here and select okay let me first of all bring in my text so this is the text i actually want to use i want to make use of this text so i'm going to copy this and bring it into my work okay this is what i have you can see it's not what we are having so now i'm going to change it from here so come here i'm going to see say to i can choose line you're going to see it just straight or in the line form if i choose over spiral you check spiral you can see the way it is to this is spiral now what i'm going to be making use of is seiko so i'm going to choose seiko so that everything will be seiko but you can see it's very large which is not what we are having so now i'm going to click here and bring it to the center so everything goes to the center so now the next thing i'm going to do is to come over here and bring on the size i'm going to ensure i am on pixels i want to make use of pixels so i'm going to make it something like 260 pixels you can see how what i now have so now from here what are the next thing i'm going to be doing is to go to my topography so i'm going to go i'm not going to don't worry about the rotate so i'm going to come over to my topography For my topography i can i want to change my text to the text style font uh, style i want i actually need it to be moisturized so i'm going to uh, actually i'm using moisturized for my for my own work so uh, one thing you can do you can see from when you check here now you notice that from this side okay let me do something let me quickly because i see if, because of the background this text is not really showing very well so i'm going to come over here and change the color of the text to white so now i believe you can actually you can now see what i'm having now so okay i think i'm having a mistake here okay. let me remove that so when i come to the ending all right i have actually i've removed this the text i needed to remove intended to remove from the side so now what i'm going to now do if you notice you can see that from here to it's not actually complete the circle is not complete it looks as if it's an arc as if it broke one side so now what i'm going to do i'm going to go back to my style 
so the next you can do this by one either by increasing the font size you can see we are having 20 here i can increase it if i to increase it to something like 30 you can see it's actually and now let's let me see how 25 is 25 is not true so i can you can see by the time i you to actually go but if the text is looking too big and it's not actually looking appealing to the eye so what i'm going to do i'm going to return it back to the norm before 20 if possible i can even make it 18 but i'm going to make it 20. so i'm going to leave it as 20 and make it the size away. okay let me return this to the default which is 400 so now what i'm going to now do is on this particular side if you check down here what the i want to I intend to do now i'm going to go to the line height when you can see we have word spacing we have lettered spacing we have spacing. so i'm going i'm not going to go here i'm making use of the lettered spacing so you can make use of word spacing still to be space there will be space between the words but i don't want that it's not going to look beautiful beautiful so i'm going to undo it now i'm going to make use of the lettered spacing so you can see by the time i start increasing you can see that it will going to fill in up to where i want it to be so just continue doing it until you get the actual point you want it to stop so i think 4.1 was okay it's actually okay for this map to work so after from here the next part i'm going to go into now is to come to where i have you can see i'm do actually done with this but it's not rotating yet don't panic i'm going to continue with that so the next part i'm going to do is to bring in my image so let's see how what we are going to i'm going to do so i'm going to bring in the image i'll put it at the down part of it so i'm going to now come over here and bring in the image so from here now you can see i actually brought in several versions of this image i actually did this too for a purpose because i want, actually want to show you something here if you notice this particular image is not a square image if you see from the side what you are having here you can see if this is not a square image why the second one here if you check it is actually a square image so now i'm going to make first of all make use of the one that is square so because in this for this tutorial for it to for it to actually get the perfect result you actually need a square image so that it can be able to fit into this particular circuit so now let's see what we are going to be doing now i'm going to go to my style then come on to the width i'm going to make this come to pixels now if you not remember if you can remember when we are doing this actually made use of 250 pixels for the width of this particular text so now on this particular one now i'm going to be making use of something lesser than what we are having there so i'm going to use the other one was 250 so on this one i'm going to make use of something like 220 220 pixels so now on the i'll now come to where i have my radius on the border radius i'm going to make use of let me make it 200 so that it will be perfect to take it so by the time i make it 200 everything is perfect to take it but now another question now how do i take it to the center of that table so that is very easy i'm just playing along with you so now i'm going to come to advanced when i come to advanced i click on the select this that on link this part plus i then i'm going to give a negative margin of about let's say 260 let's see how it goes 260 you can see this is it actually went in but now i'm going to you can if you notice it's as if this particular side is not is not really at the center so to do that i'm going to click on this particular line on this text part and come to where i have the content and i'm going to activate show the path line so if you can actually if you are really seeing very well you can see when i hover over the line over the text you are actually seeing uh, the lines of the text displaying if you can see if you can see where see you see the lines of text displaying here so now this is the line i actually activated so if you check closely you can see that it's not really at the center what i'm having here it's not really at the center so what i'm going to now do is to adjust the text i'm going to adjust this image to fit to the line of that particular 
so i'm going to adjust the negative margin until i get it to the point where so yeah, i think i'm okay now so on my own side image i'm using i'm having i think the center where i'm having is up to is 260 minus 264 pixels that actually uh, went to the center so now from here i'm going to now click on the text and go back and deactivate the pass and remove the visual part so now from here we have one more step to go now before i do that i actually i'm going to add that i'm going to now click on this image i want to show you something what if i actually use an image that is not a square so now let's see how what how what how what is going to be so now when i bring in an image that is not a square you can see when i try to bring this and i bring it in you can see it's actually difficult it will be difficult for me to get the safe center of that so it actually fits perfectly well into that center of that circle so to do that you actually need to bring in a square image for this so you can see it be able to enter very well so now and the next thing i'm going to be doing is the text coming to the text because the text needs to be rotated so to do this you are going to come to advanced then scroll down to where you have your custom css so to make use of your custom css you will actually need a elemental pro you need the pro version of elemental to actually do this so now for you to be able to do this now i'm going to be you dropping a link so that if you check the description down below you are going to see the link where you can actually purchase the elemental pro so now i'm going to once you've done that if you still check at the description box below i'm going to be dropping a link to where I'm, you are going to be getting this CSS file, this CSS course, I'm going to the course you are going to be inserting to actually make this rotate. So just check at the description, you are going to see the code. So I'm going to just get the code, copy my. So I'm going to be pasting in the link the CSS code size. So once I paste in the code, you can see everything is just rotating. So what you just need is just to get the code, the CSS code, and add into your work, and you are going to see this actually rotating. You can see this is just the code, so you don't really need to. Everything is just there for you, so you can just pick it in and start into your work. So now, after doing this, you can see if you want to check the responsiveness of this particular work, you can see that from here. Let's say when I do. When I come to the tablet view, you can you can see everything is just scattered. It's not looking the way it's supposed to look. So now, what I'm going to do on the tablet view, I'm going to click here. On click on the let me say for the text space, I'm going to click on the text space. Text space. I'm going to come to where I have this. Then on the tablet view, I'm going to make it let's say 250 still. You can see once I make it 250 still, it still balance it went balance okay. I think the size of from on the tablet view is okay for me. So now I'm going to now go to that of the mobile view. So once I come to the mobile view, I'll click on the mobile view, everything is still scattered still. So let me still make it say I want to reduce it to 250 and see. So it's actually looking too big for me uh, for 250 and that's a plus size. So let me say 200. Now for 200, now I'm going to make it on the image. I'm going to click on the image. And come to the image with then pixels i'm going to make the other one was 200 let's say 190 you can see 190 okay let me make it 180 180 180 then i'm going to come to the negative margin and deactivate this then make it negative margin let me say 180 doesn't go so let me see how see let's say 200 or 240 240 is quite much so let's try a lesser one 245 220 okay 220 let's say 218 218 i think 218 is okay so you can just work with your change with the responsiveness of your work that's just you can see from here everything is going to be okay everything is okay so from here you can just you can see everything actually that have 
So let me just work on click, reduce the size of this, let's say 25. So you can just see how everything goes. So you can actually work from here, you can work on your own the way you actually want it to be. So once you're done with that, you just update and let's once it updates, let me see, let's see how the preview actually is. So let's say that you know actually see that what you we are we actually did is actually working very well. So let's click on preview. So once they click on preview, it's going to load the preview of this particular page. What we just done now is going to load the preview for us. So loading. So you can see this is what we actually have. So I believe you might have learned from this particular tutorial. In case you enjoyed this video and you've learned something from this particular video so you, you are just wanted to help me click on the like button and if possible share this video to people that might be interested in this video and also please don't forget in case you've not yet subscribed to my channel please ensure you subscribe to my channel and hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload video like this so on next time this is where i'm going to stop bye for now